Hi. Today, I would like to talk about principles. Uh, as many traditional systems, the Choga Tonglong uh, also is relying on principles. All the teachings are relying on principles because that are going to change your body, to create a body structure which helps you to use more optimal your powers. These principles build up your power and your skills. Uh, today I would like to focus on one specific principle which is one of the key principles in Choga Praying Mantis to keep the elbow in, why this is important. So, for this demonstration, for today, I have a special guest, Sifu Balint. Please welcome, Balint. Hi. And uh, uh, before uh, doing any demonstration, I would like to tell you that uh, in Sugar Praying Mantis, uh, we have a power chain which we build up. And this power chain consists of several parts of your body, like the ankle, the knee, uh, the hip, uh, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. All our exercises, uh, are aiming to strengthen these parts of your body to build up this power chain very strongly and one really key and very important part of this power chain is your elbow uh, we put a lot of energy on strengthening our elbow so uh, it adds a lot to this power chain and helps to bring out this special power the shock power and a very important thing is that uh, the, why is this principle keeping the elbow in first from power point of view if you don't keep your power in in these exercises that you will never be forced to strengthen your elbow so you will, you will never have a strong elbow you will never have uh, elbow power which means you will never have a shock power which is the most important power to repair mantis but uh, how it looks in practice what's the difference because uh, some uh, in some cases people are sticking out the elbow instead of keeping it in so let's see it first uh, let's suppose someone is coming to you and uh, he wants to uh, hit you. In this case, Sifu Balint will hit me with uh, with the left hand, and I will try to block it first in a wrong way with a uh, sticking guard elbow. So let's let's do it first. Okay, you see, very important thing. When I put out my arm and my elbow is sticking out, I give him a quite big surface where his power can push me in. So please just put 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 your arm up. It's, so when these uh, two arms are colliding, I'm, I'm in a bad position because I can't really control it. So I give him a possibility to push me, push me in, push my arm in. And whatever strong I am with sticking out there, I will not be able to, to defend myself. Uh, the next one, what's the difference if I keep my elbow in? So let's do it. With, you see, when my elbow is in, I use, my, I use this power chain that I just explained. First of all, his arm will just slip away. So his power will be transferred behind me. And even if he is doing it uh, with, uh, with a bigger momentum, he can fall on me and I can hit him very hard. And if my elbow is in, then I can control him. I can push, I can do whatever, whatever I want. Same story applicable from the uh, attacker point of view, if his elbow is in. So what's the difference? Now uh, Balint will demonstrate it to you. What's the difference if he's punching with the elbow sticking out? You see, uh, he cannot use his, his all power because he let it go out. And let's do it in a way uh, properly, elbow in. You see, <laughs> I'm in a very bad position because he has a heavy bridge. He's trained this way, he's using all his abilities, all his power, he can put it in the punch. So that's a big difference. For the same principle now, I give you a second example why this is important. So we have a, we have a technique in Chogar Pregment, it's called hooking hand on Arp Sao, which looks like this. If I'm sticking again my elbow out and he's coming in, to me he can push my arm on my body and my my arm is out of the game, I can't use it so he can do with me anything he wants, especially if he comes with power and, and, and fast. But what if I, I, I use my elbow, this, this structure, okay, let's try, again, push, push, you see? So now it's much harder for him to do it, even he's strong, I can hold him for a few seconds and if he tries, then I can do again whatever I want. I can bring him to the side, I can hit him because I feel how his power is trying to uh, come to me. So that's why this is very important. Thank you Sifu Bali for the demonstration. 
Thank you for watching and keep practicing.